Hi, everyone. These lectures are going to cover cells and understanding cells forms the foundation of everything in medicine from understanding disease to understanding infection, cancer, treatment. We really need to understand cells at a fundamental level and everything that's living is made up of cells. So in these series of lectures, it's going to be split into four parts. This will cover part A. Part A is going to give you an idea of the universal features of all cells or the similarities of all cells. This is important to understand how our body responds to being infected. The next part is going to focus on prokaryotic cells. So think things like bacteria or archaea. And these are the cells that we usually face in infection. The third part is going to focus on eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells make human cells, plant cells, a lot of other things. And then finally, the final part is going to cover how substances move across cell membranes. We also call that transport. And this is important so that we can understand how things enter and leave a cell. This helps us understand how to grow cells in lab. It also helps us understand IV and why people use certain concentrations of IV. So in this first Part, part A, we're going to focus on cell similarities and differences. And by the end of this short section, you'll be able to understand what are the two groups of cells that make up everything living in our world, the similarities between them, and the main big differences between them. Okay, so starting off, all living organisms in the world are made up of cells. And there are only two types of cells in the world. If you're living, you're either made up of a prokaryotic cell or a eukaryotic cells. Bacteria and archaea, archaea is the type of microbe, are made up of prokaryotic cells. And everything else that's living, like human cells, plant cells, mold cells, protozoa, are made up of eukaryotic cells. So just at a big glance, bacteria made up of prokaryotic cells humans made up of eukaryotic cells, and viruses do not fall in any of these because viruses are not living. So they're not made up of any cell type. So just keep that in mind. And the main big difference between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells is that prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. So bacteria and archaea do not have something called a nucleus. Eukaryotic cells like human cells, plant cells, are made up of eukaryotic cells, and eukaryotic cells do have a nucleus, and the purpose of a nucleus is to protect the DNA. So this is so important to understanding how to cure illnesses or disease and infection. So the basic features of all cells, what are things that are common in all cells, all cells in the world have a plasma membrane, which is also called a cell membrane. And it's important because it controls the movement of substances in and out of a cell. All cells have DNA. DNA is the genetic information. All cells have ribosomes. Ribosomes make protein. Later, you're going to learn that protein controls everything in an organism or in our body. In prokaryotes, they have something called a 70S ribosome. Eukaryotes have something called an ADS ribosome. And this will be important later. And then finally, the inside of a cell is called the cytoplasm. All cells have a cytoplasm. So these are the basic feature of all cells. And it's important to know this because, for example, if you have a human, a human is made up of eukaryotic cells, and it's infected by bacteria. Bacteria are made up of prokaryotic cells and you want to give someone a drug, like an antibiotic, you want to make sure that you target something that's unique in the prokaryotic cell that's not part of the eukaryotic cell. So I wouldn't create a drug that targets the plasma membrane because the plasma membrane, it, even though it might target the prokaryotic cell, it will also target the human cell. So it will also have an effect on the human cell. So these are the similarities between them. At a big level, what are the main differences? The main differences are that prokaryotes, which make up bacteria and archaea, do not have a nucleus. 
eukaryotes, which make up human cells, animal cells, plant cells, everything else that's living that's not bacteria or archaea, have a nucleus. And the function of the nucleus is to protect the DNA. Prokaryotes do not have organelles. Organelles are things like mitochondria and ER, which we'll learn about later, and others. Eukaryotes have organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi, etc. Prokaryotes are generally smaller and simpler. Eukaryotic cells are generally larger and more complex. Prokaryotic cells have a single circular chromosome. Chromosome and DNA mean the same thing. Eukaryotic cells have multiple paired chromosomes that are in the nucleus because eukaryotes have a nucleus. Prokaryotes reproduce by binary fission, which is a type of asexual, meaning not sexual reproduction, which you will learn about later. Eukaryotes generally divide by mitosis, and there is also meiosis. You'll learn about that later. Prokaryotes have something called a 70S ribosome to make proteins. Eukaryotes have an 80S ribosome to make proteins. And understanding these differences is so important to understand how cells function in health and disease. So by the end of this very short lesson, what I hope you got out of it is the commonalities between all cells, which is all cells have a plasma membrane, all cells have DNA, all cells have ribosomes, and all cells have cytoplasm. The main differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are that prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. They do not have organelles. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. Eukaryotic cells have organelles. And so in the next few sections, we're going to focus on the details of prokaryotic cells and the details of eukaryotic cells to get more in detail.